So about six months ago, I did a little video on how to stream Spotify straight from your Apple Watch without needing to have your phone with you. A lot of you guys seem to find that very helpful, but the single most asked question in the comments was, can I download my Spotify playlist to my Apple Watch so I can listen to my music offline? And sadly, the answer has been no, you can't. Until now, let's ramble. Hold up, face go up when I pull up. They all on me like a one thing. Hey, what's up guys? It's great to see you all again. And if you're new here, I'm Patrick, and this is why I ramble about tech and other stuff. So guys, I'm a huge fan of the Apple Watch. It can do crazy things like open my front door and even my car. I use it to check the weather. By Odin's plugged out eyeball. What shitty weather this is. Please excuse my weather app, it's got a foul mouth on it. But first and foremost, I use my Apple Watch to keep track of my fitness. I spend the majority of my day seated in this office chair, so I like to go on runs to make sure I don't turn into a complete blob. And the Apple Watch is great for that. I use Strava to track my runs, and it lets me keep tabs on some of my fellow YouTubers like my man RJ Tech, so we can hold each other accountable for being lazy bums. So the Apple Watch is a great fitness companion, but the one thing I always hated is having to bring my phone with me on runs so I can listen to Spotify. I wanna be able to just connect some Bluetooth buds to my watch and listen to my music that way. I don't need a glorified fanny pack flopping around my waist just so I can bring my phone. I know Apple Music offers that functionality, but I don't wanna use Apple Music. We get roped into Apple's ecosystem plenty and I really don't need another subscription. I like Spotify and that's what I wanna use. So six months ago, Spotify finally rolled out the option to stream music straight from your watch. And that to me was fantastic news and I've been using it nonstop. You simply hook up some earbuds to your Apple Watch. I'm still using my trusty Jabra Elite 65Ts because they will not fall out of my ears and pretty much all other earbuds I've tried do. Anyway, since Spotify rolled out direct streaming for the Apple Watch, when you pair some buds, it gives you the option to choose your watch as the streaming device. No phone needed. But there is one huge caveat, well, actually two. One, you need the cell version of the watch and be connected to a data plan. This seems obvious as streaming anything without a data connection is simply not possible, but you wouldn't believe how many people were very surprised by this. And secondly, you do need a premium subscription to Spotify or the option to stream from your watch will not become available to you. And of course, plenty of people have the GPS only Apple Watch without its own data connection. So this solution was only interesting to a relatively small user base. And like I said in the introduction, people were kind of pissed off that they couldn't just download their favorite playlist onto their Apple Watch and listen to their music that way. Well, Spotify finally came through and now it has been rolling out the option to download offline playlist to your Apple Watch. So it doesn't matter if you have the cell version or the GPS one, you can now listen to your music during your workouts without having to bring your phone. And that my friends is quite liberating. Now, I don't know what took them so long. It could of course be the case that Apple found ways to prevent it for a while since it is in direct competition with its own music service, Apple Music. And we all know Apple doesn't like competition, but this is just me speculating and I don't really have anything to base this on aside from a general healthy distrust of Apple as a company. All right, so how do we get offline playlists from our phone to our Apple Watch? Obviously, you will need to have Spotify installed on both your phone and your Apple Watch, and it has to be the latest version. If you haven't updated the app, it won't work. Just go to the App Store and check if there are any updates available for your device, and if not, you're good to go. If you checked all the boxes and you still can't see the option, don't worry, Spotify is doing a staggered rollout just like they did with the streaming option, meaning that we don't all get the functionality at the same time and you might still get it in a little while. So be patient if that is the case. Also, a small detail, you do need an Apple Watch 3 or newer to make this work. All right, so once you have everything checked and set up, the actual process is super easy. You just go to your favorite Spotify playlist on your phone. And if you don't have one, you can just create one by pressing the plus sign in the top right corner. Give it a name and start filling your new playlist with your favorite songs. All right, so pick a playlist. I like Ava Max on my runs. I'm not weird, you are. And then all you have to do is tap the three little dots right here and you will now see the option to download to Apple Watch. And what you'll see now is that there is a new category on Spotify on your Apple Watch called Downloads, where you can see the progress and you will also be able to see your music in the library under playlists. And that's it, it's that easy. 
Guys, if the video was useful to you, please give it one of these. It really does help the channel. Subscribe for more content. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next one.